take me out to the ball. Doing some more commitment of traders. And uh, remember here we had the commercials. Last time I did it, I focused on commercials net. So that's the uh, the hedgers, uh, all their long positions, minus their shorts, and that's the that's how much they have net where they're angling or they're mostly short. Usually they're mostly short at market um, tops. And large traders, those are the speculators. Again, their net their net position. And large traders, speculators, big speculators are usually most bullish at market tops or at tops of it right here. You see the monthly candle chart, reduce lot of noise, and there you see their top. Uh, they usually have the inverse position of the hedgers, and you see it most likely like here, like a little mirror of the zero line. Uh, sometimes they bounce off here, sometimes they cross a little bit over. Not always. I'm going to show you a little later there where there's some, uh, this hasn't always been the case. I'm uh, not quite sure why. Is it the, did they change the way they were, did reporting? Uh, I'll, I'll dig that later. And there's another, these the other guys that aren't mirrored, they're the small speculators, so the non reporting. So, in those cut uh, reports that uh, are brought out, I think, every Friday afternoon after the close. Um, here you have the non reporting, so the small speculators. And they're interesting because they help you uh, discern or add weight or add uh, clues to uh, when in the weight of evidence am I, am I a market top then you have the uh, monthly candles uh, closes you have the chart action and then you have extremes but what's an extreme right you don't know how long the extreme is going to last then that's when you could use you add the small speculators their open interest how they are positioned and you'll see usually they are uh, going mostly with the flow. And when there's divergence, uh, you could use that as a, an indicator for uh, regular divergence where the price action is making uh, higher highs, uh, higher lows, just like that right here. Do I have, let me see if I have some here, right here. No. Let's zoom in. Let's see where's the last time I had some. Higher lows, higher lows, clean here. Okay, uh, right here we start having some. Higher lows on the indicator. So the small speculators, their open interest decided I'm not going any lower than that while the price action was going lower. You had, uh, remember, um, hedge the orange line or uh, large commercials they are most um, uh, bullish at the bottoms and most negative at tops and right here you have it here large speculators are mostly uh, bearish at the bottoms and mostly bullish at tops so right here you had a whole bunch of little synergies um, right there do, 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 do. Right there. These are the type of points where you say, oh, okay, something's happening. And then what I dab a little bit is you can draw trend lines on uh, on the in, on the non-reporting on the small speculators. Here's one level here. Here's another one right here. When you're below, I've uh, not always, but close to 20,000, sometimes it's ch it changed over the years. So when you're in the zone, it continues the trend. When it goes over, combining that with uh, the extreme positions of the, uh, of the commercials and the uh, large speculators, combine that with, I'm going to zoom in here, a breakout above. You know what? I want to add... My moving average favorites. Moving average. There you go. I'm going to pop in a 12 month moving average. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, there you go. Then got to close above an inclining, above a 12 month moving average, starting to make it incline above horizontal breakout line. 
uh, this is giving you clues that this was a solid bottom right right here at these levels. Divergence with the price action on the monthly candle chart, break above uh, previous one test, two tests, and then you had a bigger bottom pattern right here. You closed above it, oh, even did a retest here. And here is when the market also decided, okay, we're stopping this downfall, but it started going in a sideways move. The then you could draw another trend line right here or a high you want to overcome the high and another one right here so when you're starting to go through these levels uh, you're starting to go in bull mode so this is extreme below uh, let's say 15,000 you're in bear mode continuation of the trend uh, right here, it could have been going upwards, but the said to st uh, um, stage one, stay slowly transition. But after all this time, right here, it's trying to go in upwards territory. Right there, so could have a little work. Could this could dip a little bit more here? Go to extremes. Right here, you have another situation. I've highlighted this before in the previous uh, podcast I did on cot but I didn't have the speculators, which are the mirror image of the commercials, but not always. And right here, this is what I'm expecting. At, right here on the monthly candle chart, we're doing gonna do bottom and then we're gonna go up. Based on the speculators that are, the small speculators that are gonna start going bull mode, increasing the position size. And you're gonna see it here. I was starting to go back in the past Right, right here. When we, before we had this crazy, crazy run. Okay, I'm going to back up. Do, 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 do. Right here, you see the shift. Oh. We're starting to go back above this, uh, the 20,000 line right here. Go back above. Right here, going to the power zone. Never, every time they came to test that, uh, that breakout line, came back above. And what happened here back in the days? Do, 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 do. Yeah, here it's where it gets messy, guys. Uh, they are inverse always. What I'm trying to, what I meant, was that they're not always on the same side. Sometimes the large speculators become uh, uh, net short. Sometimes they're net long. It's not always as we've been seeing since 2002. So I'm not sure. I don't know why. And uh, before you see, they used to fluctuate often. It wasn't always. Oh, when it crossed over, they were flipped for a little while. Uh, indecision not quite sure why th that happened but the uh, it started really to get in sync right about here when we started going above look at all this weight of evidence when everything's in synergy when we start going back above hey was it crooked oh ah uh, above that trend line hogging it above the 20,000 for the small speculators and look at what happened here. Do, 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 magic lines. Monthly defined breakout lines, guys. You have to respect it again. Look at these wicks. False breakouts, not ready. Sellers coming in. One, two. Really starting to define that line. If you remove the wicks out of your, your brain and just look at the closes, the green closes, always staying below. But right here, kind of like what we're doing today, lower highs. Lower highs. Higher lows, sorry, dyslexia, higher lows uh, on the monthly chart. That's a very, very strong base. Closing above and declining 12-month moving average. And right here, right here, I could even move it. One little step. Really started getting momentum. We did. There is a small right here. So on the monthly, you got to be careful. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, half, half a year. But on the weekly chart, you probably had some signals right here even before uh, when you had that close above that 12 month moving average that above that horizontal breakout line but you have to respect this you see that wick coming down uh, i could have got trapped this could have easily continued sideways but right here around these around this zone right here i'm going to move it just a little bit here's another uh, level that was surpassed so zones, not clear cut, 
big, big bottoming base on the small speculator's net position. Oh, trying to go back upwards. And once you're close of that launching pattern, off you go. You're staying in after that. You're staying into, ah, why you keep moving it? Aye, aye, aye. Maybe here? Okay. What? What is wrong? Did I do something here? Okay, here we go. Can I move it here? Okay. A stuck. After that, that resistance is now become support, and now you're staying above here. And now you see that position. They keep increasing, increasing, increasing on each one, uh, expanding. And after that, on those pullbacks, getting closer together. Right here, I'm going to put some more. Right here, you had a little dip. They got they started getting closer together. And here you had a dip below. You had a violation. So small speculators starting to take uh, reducing the position size, going back back down below, testing it going down. Uh, this could have continued down, but no, they they started to go back up. So it's really cool to follow those small speculators. I like the fuel that uh that moves the price. And uh, as long as you keep expanding until you get big, big extremes. So the extremes, see, they keep, uh, they like, overbought, 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 or oversold. But as long as you're staying in the power zone with those small speculators, oh, right here, you see, oh, going back below, um, back in the zone, oh, first dip here, starting to go down. You're not out of the cloud yet. But you're still, there's a lot of clues you got to take into consideration. You're below the 12-month uh, ring average. You shouldn't be there just based on that. But uh, using the cut as additional evidence that you should not be, uh, you should take heed is that final, final close right here. So when the speculators, even before here, right down here, oh, go back up. No, back down below, and you shouldn't have never been here in the first place. You should have exited here. That's a stage uh, three top. Uh, right here, you should have not be here. Even here, you should have been thinking about shorting. And then you're crossing into that territory, even confirming that you should be shorting right here, gold. Um, here you got some other indications that you're getting some tops right there when they're touching each other top. Uh, having so much difficulty right there. Oh, not quite right here. This is more for the bottom right here. Ah, what's happening? What did I do? Did I just remove my... Cut, cut, cut. I want my cut data back. Come back. All right, let's bring back the COD data. Let's remove all. Do we we'll keep commercials? We can keep the large traders. So much information, so much deep diving possible. I'm going to try to keep covering that, try digging up all that information. So you could use at the extremes, and but the small speculators, really, that's what I appreciate about it. It's like uh, we'll see in which zone they are, and when they're starting to cross over, tier one, uh, extenuate that short. Tier two, a halfway decision, either stage one or stage three, depending if you're going up or down. And when you're in that power zone, that's what I really want to see, and you want it to stay up here. I want it to see in the power zone. I want it to see a test uh, breakdown line or support line. And after that, when it closes below that, when it closes below uh, monthly defined breakdown line, if I'm below 12 monthly average, I'll know that the ride will be over or it'll be time to take my chips off the table. So use it. See that power move right here? All that year that it kept going up, you were in that power zone. When you start getting to that stage three, danger zone, sideways move, you have a close below 12 monthly average. Everything overlaps. That's why trading frameworks, they... Never judge them. They're, somebody's looking at uh, uh, doing Elliott Wave. Somebody's doing uh, 
um, Bollinger Bands, they all eventually are rely on the price action and have all have similitudes. After that, you go with what you're more comfortable with. And right there, you're back in power mode, small speculators feeding, feeding the rally. And there it is, guys. So use that. There's one more indicator you could use into uh, evaluating, checking out um, futures. After that, I'm doing it with gold, but uh, I'm going to explore it with uh, the indexes, with uh, silver, with any futures, anything that's on the COT report. Uh, you could try to do that and see how uh, how that works out, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.